Hey you guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. So if you guys know me or if you've been to the channel before, you guys know I love the Dollar Tree. I also love thinking outside of the box. So using regular old Dollar Tree products in a new way. So think kitchen products for your beauty routine. So I've come up with a couple Dollar Tree hacks to share with you guys. If you guys like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have not been to my channel before and you don't even know who I am, hello, my name is Sarah. I'm obsessed with the Dollar Tree. I'm actually on a really tight budget and I like to shop. So I'm able to do all of that at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, but I also make it look fabulous. So if you guys can relate or if you're into that, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. All right, you guys, let's get started on these Dollar Tree beauty hacks. Dollar Tree has a super dry top coat that's at basically every single Dollar Tree and I've said it so many times but it's not a product I recommend for your nails because it does not dry fast at all. So here's a new way to use it. We've all seen those annoying rust stains that happen from our shaving cream can or from an air freshener. So if you want to prevent those, all you have to do is take your clear top coat that you're not going to use for your nails, place a thin layer on the bottom of the can. This way, when it hits the water, there's this preventative layer that won't allow it to rust out. This works like a charm and it's super easy to do and it will keep those annoying rust stains away. So if you have not seen one of these before, this is a makeup cleaning glove. It basically has little ridges that are supposed to get inside of the hairs of your makeup brushes. They retail anywhere from $10 to $40. If you guys don't want to spend that, here's an option for you. At the Dollar Tree in the kitchen section, they sell these silicone gloves. The inside of the glove is almost identical to the makeup brush glove that I showed you guys that was retailing for $10. Here's a side by side so you guys can see it for yourself. So if you don't want to spend $10 and you only want to spend a dollar to clean your makeup brushes, all you have to do is take the glove and use the inside as well as a little bit of soap, maybe baby soap or whatever soap you like to use to clean your makeup brushes, and it will do exactly the same thing and it works like a charm. Using the silicone glove is actually a lot better than cleaning the makeup brush in the palm of your hand because you're not continually rubbing the brush in your hand. Once you're done, you can just let it air dry and it'll be ready to use the next time you want to clean your makeup brushes. So many makeup artists will use these metal palettes for mixing, either your foundation or a lipstick. So at the Dollar Tree in the kitchen section, they have these choppers or scrapers. It's plain stainless steel, so instead of using it to chop your peppers, you can use it to mix your foundation. I know I personally always had makeup on the back of my hand, concealer on the back of my hand. If I want to combine two lipsticks, I would do it on the back of my hand. So using this metal palette, it's non-porous, so it doesn't soak up any of the products, so you waste less, and the cleanup is easy peasy. A lot of makeup artists will use these palettes so that they don't get germs on their clients. So it's a lot healthier, a lot safer, a lot cleaner, and a lot easier, girl, and it only costs a dollar. So if you guys did not get the memo, I love the Dollar Tree gift wrap section. I think that it's amazing. Now you can use it in your beauty routine. We're going to make our own DIY oil blotting sheets. Grab one of the white tissue papers from the Dollar Tree and we're going to cut it into little squares. These squares are going to be used to remove the excess oil from our forehead, our chin, our nose, wherever you're oily at, girl, because you know I'm extra super oily. You can also use it to blot your lipstick. These work amazingly. They don't remove your makeup you can just keep them in your makeup bag or if you're on the go and you need it they're great and they're cheap and they work perfectly Sandwich picks work amazingly for sandwiches if you're having a party or if you want to hold your BLT together, but you can also use it in your beauty routine as well. At the Dollar Tree in the kitchen section, they sell a 200 pack of these sandwich picks. They're bigger than a toothpick, but shorter than a skewer. That's why I absolutely love them for my fake eyelashes. I really struggle with getting my eyelashes on and not having them all wonky. So what I like to do is I like to take the little pick and my finger and really press the fake lash close 
close to my lash line. You want to be super careful, you guys. It's near your eyes. Hello, be careful. But if you don't have a steady hand or if you really struggle with getting your fake eyelashes on, use your finger at the bottom and use the little pick at the top to press it down when the glue is still wet and they will go on so much easier. So let me know what you think about all these hacks, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you guys use any of them or if you find any of them useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Leave me a comment and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye, you guys.